fix, open in Photoshop, head up to the filter menu, and then down to adaptive wide angle. If it's taken straight from your taken at, in this case, the lens was set at 10 millimeters, as you can see on the right. If Photoshop doesn't automatically pick up the focal length, you can enter it manually. At this point, we want to tell Photoshop which areas of the photo should be straight, such as the horizon line. Clicking once at either end of the horizon will initiate the constraint tool. Moving to the other end of the curved line, you'll notice that our constraint is being bended based on the focal length. Clicking a second time will straighten out the area in question. It's to constrain the major curves in your photo. In this case, I want to make sure to add constraint lines to the ledge and to the side of the building. Once you have straightened out the major areas of your photo, press OK to apply the changes. One more example. In this image, the church is definitely suffering from a fisheye effect. Let's again correct it using the adaptive wide angle filter. Once the filter has been loaded, we want to draw out our constraints. I'm going to place one on the center ledge, one at the base of the church, one at both sides of the front of the building, and then I'm going to finish off by constraining the roof. Now that my constraints are in place, pressing OK will apply the filter. Looking at the before and after, we can certainly see that the fisheye effect is almost non-existent.